Hey kiddos, Mrs. Gatch here. I'm gonna show you now how to take your movie that you have worked on in the stop motion app and how to create it into a film in order to transfer it into iMovie to start editing and posting. So first I gotta just make sure that my stop motion app is open. Um, and you just have to look for your video. And since I haven't made a video on here, I'm just gonna use the sample one. So I would open this up and I just wanna make sure of a couple of things. Um, I would want to make sure that I have all the videos, all the shots that I need. There's nothing that's taking too long or an extra one. And also a good way to see how long your film is is if you click this button. If you click the little wheel button, it'll show you how many frames per second are in your film. So right now this is 12 frames per second, which makes it an eight second film. You guys need to be either between seven and 10, depending. I find that a lot of people, eight has been the sweet spot for them, eight or nine. So I'm just gonna keep mine at eight. It's a little bit of going down. All right, so once that's selected, I can just take that down. My video, I can watch it through one more time if I want. To go back to turn your stop motion movie in the app into an actual film to transfer, I would press this button here. And then I would press the share button. And it's gonna ask me, mail it, Dropbox. You just want to make sure you save it to your camera roll. And always make sure to use the highest um, definition possible. Now, it's usually depending on your video, it should take about eh, 30 seconds to about a minute. And it might ask you for access to your camera photo. So you would yeah, say yes, okay. And then once you are done, you're going to take your iPad and you're going to plug it into your laptop. So make sure that you open up iMovie. All right, so now that my iMovie is open, I need to transfer my film that is on my iPad onto my iMovie, and this is really easy to do. My iMovie looks a little bit different from yours because I updated to Yosemite, but it's not a different situation. So first thing, I have to make sure that I make a new project. So I would hit new, movie, and I'm gonna title it stop motion. So it'll pop up. We always select no theme, and then I'll here I'll put stop motion, okay. That'll create a new project. And then like I've taught you guys, I usually like to create a new event to match my project. And to create a new event, it's actually very easy. All you would do is you would go file, new event, and you would title it the same title as your movie. So stop motion, enter. And then now I'm going to import my media. When you import your media, it's gonna bring up another screen and it's gonna show you your devices, desktop, home, and I know that my movie is on my iPad, so I'm gonna select this here. And you can do one of two things. You could either select all movies, all photos, all videos, and it's usually the most recent one at the top or the bottom. So I'm making sure I'm importing into stop motion. Here's my video, import selected. Now one thing you need to make sure of is over here, where you can see this, it'll tell you when your import is complete. If you wait, if you don't wait a lot, enough time and just pull out your iPad, it's not gonna transfer completely. Once I'm done, hit eject so it safely ejects the iPad from your computer and nothing gets lost. Now I have my film here. So I can see it, I can split it, but you can't do anything up here. You have to make sure that it's on your timeline. And now I can add tons of stuff. If I want it, I can add a title. Um, and, or a background. So usually, you know, there's several things that you can do. Um, I'm a very simple person, so I'm probably just gonna pick a white background and I can drop it on the front. And if I want a title slide, I can also select that over. So there are some title slides that you can use, you can change the font and there's some that you can't. This one that I'm using, I can change the font. So right now, I'm just waiting for it to process. Sometimes it'll take a little bit if you're trying to do too many things at once. But then here, I can select several things. I'm gonna change the color. I don't want it to be white, so maybe like a pretty pink. Um, and I don't want an outline but I do know what kind of font I want. If you ever want to have an extra font here, if you say show fonts, that'll bring up all the fonts that you have um, on your laptop. And so I actually, my favorite font of all time is called um, Babis, and I download it from defont.com, which is amazing. And I'm gonna make sure my font is quite large. 
Let's see what it would look like if it was at 64. Oh, that's still not big enough. So I'm going to try 144. Perfect. And then you can change it as you want. So I'm going to title this Welcome to Stop Motion. And there it is. Now also remember, you can add music, you can add transitions. Just make sure that everything you put in your film is there for a purpose, guys. If you put too much stuff in and it doesn't make sense, it can throw off um, your audience. You can add songs from your iTunes if they're Creative Commons. I actually have a lot of Creative Commons music, so if you wanted to hear one, which I think I'm going to choose this one, you can just select it from your iTunes, put it in here. I've had several kids ask me how to cut a song. If you ever want to split anything in iMovie, you would actually just have to put your little um, marker where you need it. And then you would do, I do command B. So think of a blade. It's slicing something. Make sure I shorten it. And if I wanted to hear, let's bring it here. Perfect. Also, you can do fade ins and fade out. If I wanted to fade in, I would take that little bar and put it there. A little fade out as so. Um, you can put sound effects. You can also do voiceovers if you wanted to. You can select the part you want to do a voiceover and then you would go to window, record voiceover, and it'll prep you for that. And finally, for transitions, you only use transitions when you're trying to have a change from one scene to another or time. I really don't need any, but um, if I wanted to do maybe a cross dissolve between the title slide and the film, I would probably do that one. And then because I kind of came in from white, I'd like to fade to white. Shorten my song up here a little bit so it's perfect. And to see the completed project, let's see. And there we go. And it'll fade to a nice white and my song fades out. So have fun experimenting. Um, I have shared with you on Google Calendar and Google Classroom websites where you can download uh, songs that are Creative Commons friendly as well as sound effects. I cannot wait to see what you guys produce. Good luck.